Over the summer, FIRST announced that they'd be making changes to the judging process by giving feedback to teams. And uh, so they were taking proposals from the public on how to provide the feedback. And this year, there were actually changes to the requirements for the Connect Award, making it more STEM community rather than your corporate community. So uh, what do you guys uh, think about these changes and the possibility of feedback after judging sessions? Uh, I think, like... Personally, I like remember thinking like when I was like a rookie team or like first second year, I kept on like thinking like why isn't my team like gain awards? Um, and I feel like there's a lot of teams who like think that and having something like a judging feedback could be great for them just to be like judges can be like oh this part of your notebook was missing and we can explain to you like what is missing from your notebook that didn't qualify you. Um, and then like doing that will help push like rookie teams and teams who are just starting out who maybe, you know, haven't been in first set lawn will get them like to a higher level faster if yeah. there is feedback from the judges. I mean, like some downsides of it could be, you know, like, um, if judges are telling you exactly what you're doing wrong, then like teams are... I mean, there there could be like disagreements where it's like judges tell you you're, you're not doing you didn't do this, but then you might think we did do this and we deserve that award, and now you're bitter about it, and you you know, it, it's kind of like a double edged sword almost of like you know what um, is wrong, but you might not agree that that might be wrong, so I don't know it could just yeah. lead to conflict. Yeah, feedback is a big part of success, not in robotics, but in just everything. In that uh, you need to know what you're doing wrong for you to be able to fix what you're doing wrong. And judges giving feedback, it doesn't really need to be like exactly this is what you're doing wrong, but like these are some things you can work on so you can do better next year and stuff like that just to help teams overall success, especially some rookie teams like that. Yeah, I, I see someone had said that they in the chat that they hadn't gotten feedback yet this year. And so that's because they're actually taking proposals this year to add it for next year, or years to come in the future. Yeah. And so this is something that may possibly be coming. Um, yeah, I think especially like so in like first Lego League, you have like rubrics, right? And I don't think FTC needs to go to like specific rubrics where every team just trying to follow it. And there will probably be teams that just get full points on everything and that really makes it so the judges aren't able to make calls on where they think one team's stronger than another but i think a a general way for teams to give for for judges to give feedback to teams with something that'd be really positive for the first community yeah i think um using like fll as an example uh going to a lot of fll events um i know that the judging feedback definitely helps teams a lot and even though that they have a rubric, um, the rubric's pretty, pretty vague uh, on a lot of things. So it really allows for um, the judges to sort of elaborate in whatever aspect they choose, whether that be some specific part of your program or like uh, some outreach event that you did. Um, I wouldn't hate go uh, FTC moving to a more rubric system. Um, but it's definitely not something I would uh, look forward to in that aspect. I really like the the way that they do judging now um, in sort of the uh, their own criteria, although it can vary event by event. Um, I think that's definitely something that that that, that I'd like to uh, to keep. And the feedback is very important for uh, definitely for rookie teams. I know that. Um, for us, we've th what we've been able to leverage, uh, as opposed to direct judge feedback, is we've had members that have been on FTC for three years, even even coming in as freshmen into high school. Uh, so right now, the mo the main method of feedback is talking to other teams. And while you know everyone's happy go lucky and nice to each other, it's not uh, definitely not as direct as as something straight from a judge and uh you know an, an example is an example but the direct like feedback <laughs> to to overuse the word is uh i think any anything that comes out of this um whether it be next year or the year after uh, is is positive
So a couple of things. Uh, chat's been pretty active on the subject. Uh, uh, Funny Fisher seven FTC team eight four seven one seven has said judging is subjective. That's one thing that we've learned, and I believe eight four one seven is Electron uh, Electric Legends, which is yeah. a pretty high ranking team in judging. Um, and so they say that everything is subjective. Uh, that's one thing that they've learned. I mean, to, that's to be accepted. Judges are humans and volunteers too. Um, so even if they give us judging feedback, yes, there's going to be some aspect of subjectivity to it. And one of the places that I really liked for the feedback, uh, I've personally been um, part of the decision-making making process for the awards at the Maryland Tech Invitational, which gives rubric feedback to all teams for uh, for their awards. And one of the things that like I was personally doing was I was the match observer, and we collected data on every single team in order to quantify why these teams were uh, winning awards. And yes, there was some quantifying, but there was also some qual uh, qualitative data. So they were also keeping notes from the judges and they made a rubric. And I thought that was an awesome way that FTC could implement into um, into our current system. Like if you do some things that are quantitative and some things that are qualitative and have them in the rubric, I think that would be a very fair way for them to give feedback to judge, uh, to teams. Yeah, um, I guess what I'd like to add to that is I do agree that combining two different types of data like that would be a great system because while judging is subjective, you do still need to have some sort of guide on deciding who gets what. So Ruby could help te judges decide between two very closely matched teams by adding in some of that qualitative data on top of what they had observed in you know match scores and judging everything like that yeah and david from recharged um says i'd like to see feedback for your notebook or control award sheet if it was disqualified due to a rule violation and i think that's something that everybody in the ftc community feels like there are such small rules and a lot of the wording can be interpreted in many ways like uh in for instance this year in the judging manual there's something about like you can only submit one page for your control award and it's very unclear whether it's only one page for the control award or one page for your summary sheet while in ftc game manual part one it clearly says you can submit as many pages for the control award as possible and so like it's these discrepancies that make it very hard for teams to know exactly what's going on and so part of it's the rules which we need to make sure like those get updated, but also like if we got feedback, hey, you aren't allowed to submit this many, you interpreted this rule wrong, that would be a good way for teams to get feedback on that. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.